Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest and another reselling video coming your way. Today, guys, I haven't done one of these in a little while. I'm gonna show you 10 items I sold on the eBay platform. I'm gonna tell you if I made a profit and I'm gonna tell you if I would ever buy them again. Let's go. Camera Go One and I are back fresh off of vacation and uh, I posted some videos, guys. You're more than welcome to have a look. And for the for those of you that watched them and left comments and given a big thumbs up, thank you very much. But back to business, uh, selling on the eBay platform, need to make some more money so we can go on vacation again. I have now pulled 10 items I've sold in the last few weeks. I wanna share them with you. Uh, like I said in the intro, I'll tell you what I sold them for, I'll tell you what I paid, and I'll tell you if I would ever buy them again so let's go to the computer and check them out all right we got 10 items lined up right on the screen here to share with you guys um before we continue on with the video guys i want to ask you how your sales have been in august and why i'm saying that uh, i took a week off with uh, camera girl so my ebay store was uh, i call it on vacation mode now it's called away time uh same thing uh, it did hurt sales for me a little bit. Uh, near the end, when we were heading closer to leave the island, uh, sales started to pick up again. But it's not like it was last year, guys. Uh, like I said, let me know in the comments below on how your sales have been. Um, you know, we're still in tough times, I think, with interest rates being where they are, uh, groceries being where they are. It's just insane. Uh, people are holding on to their cash right now and buying the things they need, I think, more than collectibles and, and things like that. Anyways, let's carry on. It's uh, not all doom and gloom. As long as we're getting sales, we're moving in now. Uh, we're in the third quarter, uh, gonna be finishing going into the fourth quarter, which is holiday time. Uh, so get out there, start buying, 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 because I hope this Christmas season, holiday season is gonna be a good one for all resellers. Uh, out there all right guys here we go like I do always no particular order I love sharing these uh, sold items with you guys um, here's the first one I always pick these ones up I think this one I got at a garage sale yes a garage sale uh, Chris doesn't go to many uh, but I've had this for a little while this is a Napoleon kettle barbecue cover uh, model number 63911 I think I paid five bucks for it and they sell well guys all the brand names Weber Napoleon, um, Blackstone, all of them. Uh, the cut, people looking for them all the time. Uh, I sold for $59.99 to a guy in Quebec. Uh, and he's received it and he's left me a comment and he loves it. All right, guys, here's the next one. Now, why I included this, this Nikon L35 AD2 camera, if it worked, and it didn't work. I sold for parts or repair for $29.99. I think it took a best offer of $24.99. This camera can sell up to $200, guys. Uh, so be on the lookout for it. Uh, wish it worked. It was so clean. Um, it just the film wouldn't, it wouldn't turn on. So I don't know if there's some something internally gone on it or, or what. But uh, whoever picked it up is going to uh, get it fixed. And they will use it most likely. Now, here's a very interesting one, guys. I picked this up at a value village. Uh, I picked it up for next to nothing. I think it was $7.99. This is a Rad Runner 2 passenger seat, uh, brown in color. It's They call it the buddy seat, and the brand is Rad Power Bikes. So these are electrical bikes. So this would be the seat for the secondary passenger on the back of the bike. Uh, brand new. It sells for over $100 uh, U.S., I listed it for $74.99 and I think it for I sold it for $64.99 to somebody in California. So it's been shipped and it's gone. I would pick these up all the time, guys. Here's an interesting story. I picked one of these up. I've sold one of these before. I got it in the box. This is an inland whistling pop top diamond glass grinder. And what this does, guys, uh, if you take a look at this photo you put on uh, a special die here and then you can trim and cut glass it's made for people that do stained glass or do custom glass work uh the guy got the guy got it it was shipped to his location unfortunately the box got squished so i'm in the process of negotiating with canada post a claim it's been about five six days and they haven't got back to uh, me yet and i really don't like the way canada post has now gone to filing a claim uh, i used to be able to call in and uh, give them my 
a small business number and they could walk me through and take notes. Now it's all automated and uh, I haven't heard anything back yet. Uh, I got a ticket open. I got the ticket number, but nothing. So we'll have to check on Monday. All right, so here we go, guys. This was in, there's two of these. This is one of them. There's two in a bag on the wall in the electronics section. Both of them were in the bag for $20, $19.99. I couldn't believe it. This is a GoPro Hero 3 Plus. Uh, and the bonus, it had the rear screen included. It still had the plastic on the rear screen. It didn't look like it was ever used. I fully tested it. I listed it for $69.99 and it sold. That was the first one. Uh, where is the other one? Let's do two in a row here. Here is the next one. There was a GoPro Hero 5 Black. This thing came with a waterproof case. Uh, it was missing the little door at the side to close where the battery, uh, no, actually the memory card goes. But that wasn't the deal breaker. It worked great. I usually actually had one of these and I used them for my videos. Listed for $89.99 and that sold. So that wasn't a, pr that wasn't a bad flip for two for $20, two GoPros. I wish I could find them again. Now, let's go to next. Here's one I try to pick up, guys, but you gotta be very careful on the year and the model and and the eyes, who would buy them. I got, for example, this is for 2013 Honda Civic. There's a ton of them out there. Kids drive them all the time. These were brand new carpet floor mats. I listed it for $79.11. I think he offered me $59.11. I think I only got $9 into a guy's thrift store pickup, but I do sell OEM car mats all the time. They're great money makers. Here's a really good one. I was standing with a fellow picker uh, at this value village. It was late in the day and the car came out and this came out here for $4.99. I couldn't believe it. It was complete 100%. This is a 1980 Mattel Electronics Dungeons and Dragons game. Uh, all the pieces were there. The um, manual was there. Very clean. And uh, yeah, if I flipped it out to somebody that bought it in Alberta and I would buy these all the time. Look for these electronic Dungeon and Dragon games, guys. Now, I think we're on to the last one. And here we go. This is a Pet Nation Porta Crate Model E 20 inch indoor outdoor travel pet carrier. You know, for little chihuahuas and smaller dogs. Uh, I picked this up for $9.99. Listed it for $79.99. It was basically brand new. It had a minor tear on one of the little... Uh, I don't know if you can see it on that photo. Uh, no, you can't see it. It was a little tear somewhere. I can't remember where. But it didn't affect the um, uh, the zipper closing it or whatnot. And I think I, I got a uh, best offer for $69.99 and it's out and it's delivered and the people love it. There you have it, guys. 10 items I sold on the eBay platform. Tell me what you think. Leave some comments down below. Uh, tell me if you found any of these items and what you sold them for. But uh, again, guys, thumbs up. Uh, if, Like I said, if you like the video so we can push it out to other resellers and send the comments guys i love reading the comments and responding as much as i can anyways guys back from vacation nice to be back uh it's always nice to come home but gotta go back and start making some more money to get uh go again with camera girl one so guys that's it for now everybody you stay safe and we'll talk to you on the next video it's chris from chris's treasure chest we'll see you later